Ovechkin and the Washington Capitals in the house of the Air Canada Centre, a game you will see in high definition on Leafs TV. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Air Canada Centre and our Leaf Nation HQ. This is Molson Canadian Leaf Nation Free Game. I'm Jody Vance, along with Joe Bowen, Mark Osborne, and Jeff Merrick, who sits in for Big Daddy Bob McGill, who will be between the benches tonight. Jeff, of course, with Hockey Night in Canada Radio. Thank you for being here, Jeff. My pleasure. Lots to cover off tonight, including the momentum of this team coming home. A couple of wins on the road are just the tonic that Toronto Maple Leafs needed as they come back to the Air Canada Centre and try and climb above 500 here at home. Andy Petrillo sits down with Matt Stage and has a little face-off with Maddie, as well as the Vice President and General Manager of the Capitals, We'll stop by George McPhee to talk about his team so far this year. But we've got Joe Bowen for just a few minutes, so I want to pick your brain a little bit about what the momentum of the road wins means to this team in wins in Pittsburgh and New York, as well as the play of one Vesa Toskala, who again gets the start tonight. Well, and I think that's uh, the right thing to do. Uh, I think right now the coach Paul Maurice is saying, uh, when we're going to carry on with you. And, and Vesa played very well in the two games in Pittsburgh and New York. But I think the one thing that the Leafs did was that they simplified their game and they didn't have to be the entertainment value. They trusted each other in their defensive zone coverage. They didn't get running around. Even when there was a bit of a hornet's nest going on, you never got the feeling that they were out of position, that something bad was going to happen, whether it was a penalty or, or a goal. And they stayed out of the penalty box. Yeah. And uh, all of those uh, things are a great way to win hockey games and that's exactly what they did and they protected a two-goal lead what <gasps> <gasps> yes they did <laughs> Don't tell me that and Aussie they had some scoring from some perhaps uh, unusual sources well when Johnny Pohl or Yuri Toulouse gets called up and Pavel Kabina all scored their first goal you can't always rely on the Matt Sundin's and Nick Andropov who had you know tremendous starts for this season but you need your third and fourth line guys to pitch in once in a while and as mentioned, Pavel Kabina, plus eight on the season. He's leading all defense. It's not Brian McCabe. It's not Thomas Caberle. It's Kabina with nine points, Jeff. And you look at the complimentary scoring, and whether it's Paul or Toulouse or Pavel Kabina, it is offense and defense by committee, specifically the defense. And it is a five-man defensive unit that they are playing. If you made a list of the top three players in the Eastern Conference at the beginning of this season, it would go Crosby, it would go Ovechkin, it would go Yarger. They will face those three players, already face two, now with Ovechkin, Three games in a row. They did a great job containing Crosby, an even better job, although Hal Gill kind of like Oriyamir Yager on that one goal against those two gentlemen. Will it be interesting to see if anyone gets eaten up one-on-one -on -one against arguably the best one-on-one -on -one player in the league, Alexander Ovechkin, tonight? So the key on the road, I think all the players have pretty much said it in a post-game interview in the last couple of days, was about bonding, it was about relaxing a little bit, about getting away from the pressures that come with playing on this hockey's biggest stage in downtown Toronto. Uh, tonight they do return a job for Paul Maurice to keep everybody cool, calm and collected and continuing to do what has worked for them on the road and the coach began his talk this afternoon on just that note. Well there shouldn't be but at the same time there's a challenge every night. I mean I don't think it's necessarily any easier to come in and win this game than it was the last one. But we're still aware of the fact we haven't played our best hockey at home. We've played our best hockey on the road. At the same time, we're 500 at home, so we're not 500 and, and just absolutely searching for a way to win a game. Um, but I we, it, it's just interesting that the, the, the words that we've used when we've talked about this came up last year as well, just prior to us getting on a run at home where I think we won our last nine. Having the confidence and the patience to play the game that we play well on the road at home, and there is a challenge to that, and there is for every team. They want to put on a little bit more of a show at home and and here, these players want that approval from their fans because we haven't given them a whole lot to cheer about early on in this year. And so they're, they're trying. They want it. The, the coach is going to try to get them not try too hard in some areas and try a whole lot harder than the others. The stats say a lot here in, in terms of what you were saying off the top, Joe. A, it's early in the season. B, they're playing a, a more calm and relaxed game Absolutely. on the road and that's shown in the stats on the power play and the pen penalty and that's kill. something that they have to do at home and just uh, simplify their game again they don't have to they're scoring goals they're not having problems offensively other teams are and that's a major concern when you're not scoring but what they can fix is what is ailing them at home and that is defensive zone coverage that's just hard work and attention to detail and they got to start doing that at home we're gonna let you head upstairs you got a job to do tonight and they get rid of the honeydew list when they're on the road too i enjoy I the honeydew list <laughs> I have that for my husband every time he comes over for a road trip 
Ice packs brought to you by JB Goodhue. Darcy Tucker out indefinitely with the knee. Wellwood and Poliakovil still out. Brian McCabe with the groin. He is out indefinitely as well. Check this out. A little earlier today, it was 5.40 this afternoon. Alex Ovechkin hanging out in his shoes on the ice. Just taking some shots, staying loose. What happens when one of these guys falls on his noodle? I don't know, but I A.O. Know. can do whatever he wants, oh, apparently. We're back with more from Leaf Nation after this.